have played exceptionally well, particularly in this second half. Yes. Goalkeeper's denied again. the fact that one day you could come back and manage each other. One day. Well. Lucas is one of the best defenders in, uh, in, in the league, I think. He's a tremendous defender. Yeah. I don't think there's much better in the country. In preparation for Lucas's visit, the children have been learning a bit about him. Many elites fans who know his history well, others admire the work he's done to kick racism out of football. I've always wanted to meet him, and um, I've been a massive fan of him all the way through his career. Great. You couldn't have asked for a better thing, really, because. It's like not not every day that you see like a superstar coming to school and all. It's just it's inspiration. It's an inspiration. It's show the red card. It's like one of the biggest things. It's a big problem in society. Ah, oh, amazing! One of the inspirational players for Leeds. Best centre defender I've seen for Leeds. The winner of the PFA Merit Award 2010 for outstanding contribution to professional football for both clubs and country is a player who was the first South African after the abolishment of apartheid to be granted a work permit to play in England with great distinction for Leeds United who continued to serve his country as their ambassador for football helping to be granted the forthcoming World Cup. Outstanding as a player but outstanding as a person for his community work both in England and South Africa. It is fitting that his achievements are to be recognised in England. South Africa is very proud of the achievements of Lucas Radovig and congratulates him on receiving this award from the PFA in London tonight. A most worthy winner and deserve of the PFA Merits Award 2010, Lucas Radovig.
Lucas was uh, Manchester United offered 10 million for Lucas and Lucas said no. He just told me this now when you know when we went to ad break. So you will explain why you said no to Manchester United. <laughs> and, uh, I wouldn't wear red. No, I... <laughs> it's true. That's what. Yeah, yeah only wear white rose, not the red rose. You know, there was a great rivalry between the two. You know, we never see eye to eye inside the field of play.